Citizen champions, chain champions here present with all your protocol order. Niaz Lonke, Elila Palifela, and Dawenes Chineo, Ezu, Ezeruke Neneo, Zikam Talkers, Nialikoni Pakakul, Nialitanda Lonke. Thank you, Mtuakas Womuche. We as a good minani at Doba Doba in. We as a mid minani a combis and yes in the in. I, Nyaliko Nipa. Thank you very much. I saw us outside there around the stadium. There is no bus around. no chicken in around and more importantly there were no scarves around thank you for supporting our movement thank you for supporting yourself the citizens movement as you know in 2018 we had the movement for democratic change alliance which was an alliance of political parties. But Katesh, we have a different approach. We have brought a different outfit, which is a citizen alliance. The Triple C is an alliance of citizens, not an alliance of political parties. We realize that political parties betray, but the citizens will never betray. And that's why we want to celebrate you wherever I've gone. I want to monge wata you jaha kangene, unjaha kangene. Now I'm not so sure. You have seen our campaigns. What you are seeing here is not a product of any foreign funding. This is you, the people, you, the citizens of Zimbabwe. You have funded our travel, you have funded our vehicles, you have funded our t-shirts. We are happy, we salute you. Thank you very much for supporting your struggle. I'm particularly happy because we have no strings attached. 
We have not received money from any donor. The donors are the citizens of Zimbabwe. If anything, the party that is donor funded and funded by other powers is ZANU-PF. We don't want a puppet party like ZANU-PF. We want a sovereign party like the Triple C, funded by the citizens, driven by the citizens, driven by the citizens. You know we have done very well. Nibonile kuti emulili mangale. Abantu bathi hayi ngena mfana. Nikhambe etsho locho abantu bathi hayi ngena mfana. Nibonile amapolisa ngale enkai amapolisa athi hayi ngena ujaha. Nikhambe barracks ino eliwele in barracks ama soja yetu acha hai au mdala ngena mvana ala zikuti kona hapo wando ulo wae utini angizu utini kangena uja ha kangena uja ha you know we have had meetings here i have never seen the word sit this fool has signed his underset. Thank you very much. Angas Guti Siango, he named Saka 23. Siza Wina, he named Saka 23. Uza Fotera Uja, he named 23. Uza Fotera Mayampia, he named. Uza Fotera Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Amasela. Bye bye. Bye bye. Unduang. Bye bye. Yes. Men are asking, what is the agenda as we go into this home stretch? I want to start by thanking God that we managed to win back our 12 seats that had been stolen by Zanubia. But more importantly, I want to thank the people of Mulawayo. Mulawayo Muse, thank you for honoring us. We have never lost an election here in Mulawayo. We will never lose an election here in Mulawa. I know that Mr. Mnangagwa had a rally at uh, Kaudri Park. And I know that a Kaudri Park is Zangoa Kakul. We are going to beat them. They had all the buses, but they didn't have a big crowd. I'm told that they address people from across the whole country. Tina, we don't do that. You don't cheat yourself and lie to yourself that you have support. But it is clear that Mulawa Omuke, you support change and you are ready to vote for change. We have inspired people. We have moved mountains. We are ready to form the next government. As for me, I'm ready to unite this country. I'm ready to win this country for change. I'm ready to bring this country back to number one. I'm ready to win this country the nine, number one position and giant position. Are you ready, Mulawai Omuche? Men are asking, but why have we done Mulawai just said two, three days before the election? Mulawai is the city of kings. I had to come here to seek the indulgence of the kings and the queens before we go for the inauguration. There is no way Munangagwa or Zanupiev are going to win this election. I want to tell you this. This is a done deal. I've gone far and wide. This last week I was in Mashonal and Central. You will be shocked. In Mbire there, in Mount Darwin, everywhere where I've gone, the people are ready, they are saying, enough 
is they are saying enough is so kwanele we don't want any more this darkness and you are full now good to watch jabule are full now good to see the glue come see the we are the supporter in. We are the supporter in one to a kit. We are the supporter in one to a kit. So yes, we are clear that we have come here. I know that Mulawa has not been developed for the past 43 years. But not only Mulawa, I've gone find why the Amateur element. There is a big problem around a kukura hund. Around the Amateur Belland are saying kukura hund is a chapter that has to be revisited so that we close that chapter on the basis of truth, reconciliation and rehabilitation of the victims of kukura hund. One of our first tasks is to make sure that when, and I'm saying if, when we form government, the first thing we are going to do is to go to places like Balagwe, where there was Kukura Hund, turn them into memorial museums so that we acknowledge this history to say this far and no further. Not only are we going to do that, we don't want to impose the solution of healing. We want healing to be bottom up. So we are going to go him up again. We will consult our chiefs to our local leaders, our churches to so that they lead the community healing process, so that they lead people telling truth. Ukchela itiniso, suti ai hasvambani, siwe bantu bani, siwe mnye lila lilisbeli to itanza ziagezana, si ango wakani, si abona kawa. Uzali fotela in. Aswambane. Swanane na majua. Swanane na majua. of an attack on the rights of the people in their lives. It was also accompanied by underdevelopment. I've been to Ngai. The road that was built by Smith is the same road that is there. I've been to Cholocho. The roads, the single strip roads that were constructed during the rotation regime are the roads that are there. There has been no development in this country, particularly in Matebele land. Matebele land is forsaken. Matebele land is forgotten. Matebele land has been neglected. You must choose a leader for everyone. This young leader is going to remember Matebele land. This young leader is going to move Matebele land forward. If Smith were to resurrect today, he will not get lost in Cholocho. Because the roads that he built are the same roads. Even Gonapo Gowlawai, the same buildings that were there are the same buildings that are still there. We want to develop our city. I told you that under our government, devolution is the new revolution. We are going to have a devolution revolution in Zimbabwe. We will make sure that we decentralize our government. Not everything to be done in Harare. One of the first things we'll have to do is to de government. DRRI's government services so that Bulawai people are able to have government service going up in Bulawai. But beyond that, because we want devolution, we also want to make sure that languages are respected. We are not going to perpetuate language imperialism. If you look at our country, a lot of the people who are acting as police officers or teachers in local communities don't even speak that local language. We want local languages for local people so that the Ashonipama language is okay. Not only that, under our government, the devolution key for Bulawayo, the good news I have, we are not going to have Bulawayo as 
a satellite of Harare. Bulawayo must be the industrial capital of our country. We want to bring back the national railways glamour. Ama bullet trains are going to be headquartered here. We want to bring back the NRZ of yesterday. We want to make sure that the factories are brought back to life. I'm breathing life into Bulawayo, into Tuziatunga, into Tuziatunga, into Tuziatunga. We are for in Bulawayo. We want to bring the glamour days of Highlanders in Boso Iboso. Highlanders is the first professional football club in this country. We want to bring back the days of Ilola Nyama. We want to bring back those glory days. We want to make sure we are not only an industrial hub for Zimbabwe. We must be the industrial hub and logistics hub for this region and indeed for the Sadiq region. We are for Tera Inu Now some are saying what is going to become of Iran. I'm a birth certificate, I'm a national IDs, I'm a passport. Everything has to be done here in Poblawa. We want to make sure that we move away from the tribal names that we have given our provinces. And we will reduce our regions into five. Southern region, northern region, western region, eastern region, central region. Central region is the Midlands. That's where we are going to put parliament building. That's where we are going to put the government city so that we don't hararize everything. Let's decentralize other things to go to other cities. We want to restore the dream of Ubaba Joshua Nkomo. Ubaba Joshua Nkomo is the only leader I saw who had a liberation ideal, liberation idea, and liberation dream to unite the people of Zimbabwe. He is the founder of the For Everyone mantra, For Everyone philosophy. Um Dalawe to Um Dalawe Lizwe. I'm going to stand on the shoulders of Ubaba Ungomo to unite the country, to move the country forward, to heal the past wounds, and to make sure that we are one. Sivamba One people, one nation. One people. Omuna Pesulu, Omuna Pesulu, Omuna Pesulu, Omuna Pesulu, Asambe Song, City, Omunwe Pesulu, Omunwe Pesulu, Omunwe Pesulu. Ah, but I am here, you are tough guy, I shall have his answer, thank you. Now, what is the agenda for our country? Tomorrow we are going to have the final rally. I've had meetings with Sadak. I briefed Sadak on the challenges we have. I told Sadak that number one, Mr. Mnangagwa is not preparing to win. He's plotting to rig. I told Sadak that he stole the election in 2018, but this time I will not accept to allow him to steal the election again. I told Sadak that Zimbabwe is the next chair of Sadak. Please get ready to welcome me to chair Sadak on behalf of Zimbabwe. I told Sadak that up to this day, contrary to what is happening in other countries, we don't have the voters' role that is analyzable, searchable, but they thought that when they gave us a PDF format, we will not be able to crack it. I'm former minister of ICT. We have managed to crack it, and we know what they are trying to do. 
We will not allow them to change our force to Nada. I told Sadak that I have not seen the ballot paper other than what I saw during the police poster ballot voting. We have requested from Sadak, we have requested from Zek that we want to see the sample ballot so that we agree on the quality of the ballot, we agree on the ink to be used, we agree also in terms of the arrangement, but I saw that Munangagwa has already rigged the arrangement on the alphabetical order. We are supposed to have one up to 11, number one, D, then C, number two. But I see Munangagwa has placed himself right to the top, the other end. But even if you rig the ballot, you will not win the elections in this country, I want to tell you. Kangena <laughs> Ujaa Kangena? I told Sadak that we are having a problem with the issue of deployment of postal ballots. But I have good news for you. My intelligence is telling me that the majority of police officers who voted defied those bosses and voted for whom come on Ujaa. I told Sadak that we are having problems with our ghost polling stations. They want to bring ghost polling stations so that they will then stuff the ballot papers. But you know what? Out of the 12,734 or so polling stations, we have made sure that there is a polling agent per every polling station. And I also have been informed and I've told Sadak that they want to make sure that they get the presidential vote first and they report back to Zek so that they can play around with their votes. But we have said to ourselves, V11s, once we get our results, we are going to tell the world what we would have gotten. We will be the first ones to know the results. We will not accept you to cheat us again. We will have the result by the following day. We have also advised the United Nations. We have told them, UN, we had invited you to come and supervise the elections. They were not invited. But we are briefing all the delegations. I'm briefing the Chinese delegation today. I'm briefing the Commonwealth. They all want to hear our views. And we have told them that any result that will put Mnangagwa ahead of Chamisa is a fake result. The reality is that Munangagwa is going to be number two. We are winning this election. We have won this election. Thank you. Congratulations, Zimbabwe. We have won this election. Thank you very much. Now, I've been told that they are going around telling books so that they vote being forced. I've told Abba Dalawan that no, practice what is called bull mango strategy. You assume being green outside this is ZANU-PF, but inside you must be yellow. What does it mean? When you go to vote, you must make sure that you avoid being harassed, being beaten up. These are thugs. They believe in violence. They believe in sucking blood. So spare yourself so that you save your lives. But when you enter the ballot box, you must make sure that you date with destiny. A triple C, ngale, mwah, mwah. A triple C, ngale. Or president or MP councillor. Even when you go back home, your wife, your husband, Montanga, your girlfriend. 
Your boyfriend? If they are not yellow, they don't qualify for a new great Zimbabwe. So yes, we are going to vote in the next two days. I'm asking Mulawa Omuche, are you going to vote for our candidates? I'm going to introduce to you, this time we will not make the mistake. We have realized that there are problems here in Mulawa. The local authorities, some of them who went with them, this year have been very funny and very dangerous. So we have said we are starting on a clean slate. We don't want ama funny tricks in local government. Asifuni umbulu, asifuni dot. So ama councillors, vayafuna kunjoja imal. Yo, this is your end. We want accountable, available, transparent, and credible councillors. So we have started by saying we are going to choose a mayor who is accountable. So we have chosen David Coulthard to be the mayor who is going to be leading Oma councillors here. Coulthard, you can come here. Coulthard, you can come here, please. We are going to clean up Bulawayo. We are going to restore under the leadership of President Nelson Chamisa Bulawayo. Siobhanga Bulawayo. What are you going to do with corruption? Awarding of tenders. A lot of funny things in the council. Violation of vendors. Abuse by ZANU PF. What are you going to do with the issue of water? What are you going to do with the issue of abuse of the residents, especially Amarets and other things? We must treat them with dignity. What are you going to do, Honorable Mayor? Thank you, President. Uh, President, what my intention is I have been a lawyer in this city for 40 years. I want to use my experience as a lawyer to review all the contracts in Bulawayo to see whether they are in the interests of the citizens of Bulawayo. If we find that contracts are not in the interests of Bulawayo, if we find that they are benefiting a small number of people, then we will do everything in law to cancel them. We will also work hard to ensure that the wealth that is generated in this city is kept in this city. At present, our water fees go to Harare. At present, the licenses that we pay for our cars go to Harare. And that means that we can't uh, reconstruct our roads. We will fight to keep our wealth here and deal with it that way. Siobongo. Thank you. I've said this, I've done this because we've done the same for all the cities. We don't want to leave things to conjecture. We need steady hands level-headed people to guide our cities. Under our government, we are going to restore executive mayors. Right now, we don't have executive mayors, but under our government, we will restore executive mayors. Beyond executive mayors, we are going to give you the right of recall. Our councillors who do not reside with you or who do not come back to you, we will give you back the right to recall them on the basis of a percentage. It's the same thing with the MPs. We are going to do the same for our MPs. What is our agenda for the entire country? Zambez Water Project is not going to be a sloganeering point. Under our government, within the first two years, we are going to make sure that we have dealt with the Zambez Water Project so that we deal with the water problem in Matebeleland here permanently and completely. Are you going to support our program here? Bulawayo, I'm also going to bring you good news. We are not going to treat Bulawayo as a cousin of Harare. Bulawayo is going to be a capital. The president is going to be 
rotating, who will spend time here in Mlawayo, two weeks in Mlawayo, two weeks in Harare, two weeks in Mlawayo, two weeks in Harare. Yes, of course, I will enjoy the benefit of the queens, you know, so that they are around, and I'm happy to see the queens around. We want to make sure that we don't reduce Mlawayo to a second class city. It is a capital city of our country. We must bring our country together. We must unite our country and move forward. Not only are we going to do that, we want to make sure that we upgrade our infrastructure here. Not just the roads, but even the airports. We want to make sure that we also bring the internet of things here in Matebele land. So that we are connected. There has to be ubiquitous connectivity. Under our government, there is going to be connectivity for our rural areas and urban areas. Are you going to vote for our program here? Why should you vote? Why should you vote? You can tell I poopo. Ligababa was seized by Ubaba with Joshua and Como. See as song, you could die. Why at Sumaela? Ugumba Utando Ubunt Utai as upon Umoli as one of a coquela coquela as men and men. Sponava coquela coquela octondileo. That is my pledge to you so that we restore the legacy of Baba Ungomo. We are the Fotela in Umtokas Womuke. We are the Fotela in the Ugot Wyomiama. Sefuna Gutai, Sekunika Matuba, Sekunike in Monto, Sekunike Um Sevens, Sekunike Fundo, Sekunike as Begera. Katesis Begera say Gula. M Gwagben Weafa. We want to restore everything. When you vote for Ujaha, you are voting for jobs. 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 We are the Fotera in Devolution is the new revolution. We are going to change the face of governance in this country. We are going to have a lean and mean government. Our government shall not have more than 15 ministers. But we are not just going to confine our government to people from the triple C. We are going to be a government for everyone. I will take a few people from other political parties. We have shown that they have competence and capacity to move our country forward because we are going to be looking for competence, not partisan belonging. We are going to bring the country together. We will ban the issue of deputy ministers and our government. We don't want deputy ministers. We just want the minister so that we cut expenditure on government. We are for Telaini. Kangene Ujaha. Kangene Ujaha. Kangene Ujaha. We are going to have a government for everyone. I have received from the elders of Matebeleland that we have looked at all the key institutions of government. They are non Debele people on Debele citizens who are occupying senior positions in government. For the first time, we'll have police commissioner, we'll have even an army commander who is in the belly because we want to unite our country. We want people to be brought together and to move together. We will move from tokenism. I don't want people of Matebele to continue being told that you belong to the vice president of the nation. As the legacy of my own government, when I become the leader, I want when I leave, people to be voted on the basis of merit, not on the basis of tribe. And I would want to see a person from Matebele being voted the president of Zimbabwe. We are voted in We want to deal with corruption. And our government, corruption, zero tolerance to corruption. If you are a thief, you must know that you will not see the light of day. We want to deal with this thing of promotion on the basis of corruption. In Zanu PF, if you steal, you are promoted. 
In our government, when you steal, we promote you to the prison. That's where you belong. Accountable leadership. Are you going to vote for a government? Are you going to vote for a government? And our government, the traditional institution is going to be restored. We are going to change the title of Ama Amakos. They are not going to be called chiefs. They must be called kings. Because it is those from other countries who brought that language and that taxonomy. Our people must be restored in their kingship. King Kumalo. King Lopengula, not Chief Kumalo. That's reducing the title and dignity of our traditional leaders. Are you with us on that one? Not only are we going to do that, we are also going to make sure that government does not interfere with conferment of leadership in traditional institutions. We are not going to use chiefs and village heads as an extension of a political party. And our government, village heads, shall be chosen in their communities. Is it Kowo, Zino Saru, Zwane, Amadze, Ikoko, Ushe, Uno, Gadwane, Amadze, Ikoko, Koteneva, Torwa. Government, get out of the business of traditional leaders. Sifu, Nukutama, communities, Alung, Ise, Izi, Ndoko, Napo. Uzali, Fotela, Ini? And our government, which is coming and is sure coming. We are going to make sure that our soldiers, our police, are not partisan. They are respected on the basis of their titles. There is dignity in honor, and there is honor in service. We will restore the dignity of service for the civil service. They have to be paid properly as a gesture of thanking them for the great work that they are doing. Number two, we are going to deal with the economy. We are going to do away with the bond note. As soon as our government has been inaugurated, no more bond note, no more RTGS, yes, yes to the US dollar, yes to the US dollar. We full, see full no good is dollar is coming. Uja can gain it, dollar is coming. Uja can gain it, dollar is coming. But we're not going to use the US dollar for a long time. We'll use the US dollar just for a short time as we go back to our own currents on the basis of confidence, ease of doing business, strengthening the confidence in our policies, but dealing with the role of the Reserve Bank, fiscal reforms, monetary reforms, so that we are going to retrench quasi fiscal policies and quasi fiscal activities. And then make sure that government is on the path of restoration. We have an economic blueprint called RET, which is rapid accelerated transformation of the economy. We are going to improve our employment rate. We are going to improve our inflation rate. Are you going to vote for Ujaha? Are you going to vote for Ujaha? We are also going to deal with the issue of debt. We will deal with our debt, which is about 18 billion. We will pay our debt. But beyond paying that debt, we will not contract any debt which is not authorized by parliament. So that there is accountability in how we do things. Parliament must be strengthened in oversight under our government. Are you going to vote for this government? Are you going to vote for this government? On the social services, education, is our big deal. And our government, one of the first things we are going to do away with, we are going to remove Amakala. Kala, bye bye, Kala, bye bye. Bye bye, Kala, bye bye. Grade one to seven, government must pay for the school fees of the children. From grade one to seven, there's going to be free primary education. Are you going to vote for this government? That is our government. I want to say, without wasting, because I know Ireland is about to play now, so I don't want to spend too much of your time. We are ready to vote, isn't it? 